Okay, let's see if it works. Here they go. Here we go. Okay. Everybody, it's another day at the Norps. It's kind of loud. There's a shop back going, but um, it's actually Saturday, and we've got a few projects going on. Um, it's a cloudy day, but it's nice outside. Kids are running around playing. Um, cousins are over. I'm gonna make another workbench today for my miter saw. Megan's got some stuff also that we're working on, so I can show you that real quick. Got this little project, which is a, this, we, we attach these legs to this piece to make it well, a thing. You just simplified that. I know, it was, a, it was more complicated like than you think. Curbside trash. Curbside um, trash. Well, trash that somebody put on the curb, but I did pay for it. Not okay, very much. Box. They didn't have any glass or any shelves. It was a piece of junk, just this top, right? And then I, Mike made me a bottom and made some trim to go on it. Then we found two tables and put them together. You can watch the whole thing. It's saved in my stories on Instagram. Oh, and your so, indoorsy store stories? Yes, I'm so jazzed so, about this piece. I'm so excited about it. Megan's Instagram is indoorsy store, right? Mm -hmm. So we're working on that one. We're going to be refurbing that, which we just got last night. Um... And actually, Megan has sold through most of her finished stuff. Hold it. Everything that's for sale is gone. There's nothing available. There's nothing available. Right Facebook now. Marketplace is the way to go. Well, I still want my store, but... I know. Let's see. This piece that Megan did is actually shipping out today to someone in Kansas who bought it. No, I'm getting my bucket. Lava? Wait a minute. Xbox is always fun. And it's okay. Saturday and the cousin's over, so we're letting them play. Um, what are you doing, Eve? Uh, yeah. You have... Oh, is that, uh, that's, uh, the, uh, that's Elsie's house? Oh, all right. Good job. Okay, it's now almost 9.49. Took me, I don't know how many hours to make all the, just do all the cuts to get ready to put this thing together. So I cut everything up there. It really feels like there should be more there. There's some on the floor. To assemble this workbench it was uh yeah i had i took dinner break and helped megan also with some of her stuff but it took a long time hopefully it takes less time to put it together i don't know all right got two of the table parts built it will connect together to create one workbench megan is doing she's blow drying metal because why not I'm trying to age it, so I'm layering it with different colors of paint, and I'm draining and cool out. So. Oh. Yeah. All right, it is 11.30. Megan already went in. This is as far as I got. I got the two sides, so they'll each kind of go on either side, and then in the between I'll put a little platform that's lower and for the uh, miter saw over there, but... I got those done, and then they're gonna have carts that, that go inside, that pull out, that have um, like shelving on them. So that'll be cool. That's as far as I'm getting tonight. Hey everybody, welcome to another day. I'm starting out with my headlamp on because I had to do some fixing. Um, our dryer broke, at least part of it did. I had to open this bad boy up replace the thermostat in there. I already pulled it out and I haven't put it back together the whole way, but that happened today. Seems like there's always something that needs to be fixed. Luckily that was simple. Um, so today, I'm not sure what we have planned exactly other than I know Megan and I have our projects that we're working on and I think the kids are doing some kind of online homeschooling this morning. They're watching some videos about different topics, which, which happens pretty regularly. So. Um, yeah, we'll see what happens today. 
So we kind of have a lot going on in here. This guy's talking about engineering and guns. He was talking, was doing a drawing. You learning some drawing? Yes. Yeah, that's kind of fun, huh? Even you to both got a lot better drawing because of this this channel. They do a great job of teaching drawing skills. Is it fun? Yep. Yep. Yeah, you... What? No ice cream right now. Sorry. Oh, are you drawing ice cream? Yeah. Oh, fun. Dryer's done. Um, I'm go hopefully going to finish the workbench today. You can see the two pieces that need to be put together. I'm like a weatherman right now. It's kind of hard to go the opposite direction. Um, Megan is working on completing another project that we were actually working on last week. It's this little guy right here. Yeah, I was working on the same stuff too, but. And now Megan is gonna also put in some like metal, like the screening that's on a, on radiators. Yeah. Like old time radiators. But it looks like, um, if anybody is a fan of painting, I am. It's on the top of the trash can right now. You Should I just show go show me. it? Okay. Oh, right here. This stuff, see this metal kind of sheeting? That's gonna go on the inside of those doors, so it should be really pretty. Meanwhile, in here, it's lunchtime. What's for lunch? Hot stickers? Yeah. Always a favorite. The kids have started, whoa, Pearl's walking around the big knife. Watch out. The kids have started making these tortilla pizzas, which are super sophisticated and healthy. It's just great. Right, we're we're met, we're combining tortillas, the Mexican food, with Italian. Or is pizza Italian? Yes. Who knows? Did did the pizza actually come from Italy? Tomato. Uh, the tomato. When the pizza was made, it wasn't. It didn't have any tomato sauce on it. It was just tomato sauce. Yeah. It was just bread with cheese. So originally, no tomato sauce. Who added the tomatoes? Americans, because it came from America. Well, well, part, I think the Italians added them first. But, but the tomatoes tomato came from America? Yeah. Good job, America. You created tomatoes. Mm -hmm. Daniel, what are you going to eat? Apples don't come from America. You're making more over there? Yeah, I so, wait for him to be done. These are frozen pot stickers that we get from Costco, and then the kids are frying them. They're pretty good. And they're pretty yummy. Yeah, we're getting healthier than that thing. Totally. Well, actually, they probably are healthier than the yeah. tortilla. Yeah, we have meat, vegetable, and um, lots of oil. And lots of oil. Oh, okay. Jude, so Jude is eating his pizza as if it's like a taco. It's like a pizza taco or a taco pizza. But Daddy, do you know that, that how apple pie is like symbolized as America? Yeah, I do know Actually, that. Actually, no, none of the ingredients in apple pie are from America. So you're homeschooler. Wow. But why does it symbolize America so much? Because we made it. Because we made the apple pie? Yeah. Okay, well then we own it. You'll probably have noticed, or I guess part of what we do for school is we do allow the kids to watch screens because there's a lot of good stuff that they can learn. Sorry, it was so loud in there, I had to come out here. That's available on the internet that's, you know, obviously on a screen. So they do watch um, some engineering. There's engineering channels. Uh, Mark Rober is a favorite. They were just watching one I hadn't actually seen before where the guy was... He was talking about guns and kind of how they work, engine like how they're engineered and that sort of thing. And um, yeah, so uh, there's some good technical information that the kids find through YouTube and that sort of thing. And then we also encourage them to be um, also just reading and working on stuff, you know, actually like with their hands doing things, which they do on a fairly regular basis too. So. Our, our schooling kind of consists of a hybrid of lots of stuff. And for the most part, I do we do limit how much screens they can have. Like at lunch, uh, screens are typically done. Um, but uh, we let them just sort of explore what they're gonna do. And that's sort of how we handle school. Um, okay, so I'm about to get this thing put together. I had to get my head on because it holds my pencil in. Um, I, did, I forgot, I didn't mention that this is actually a Anna White whoop, design that I've been following. So, uh, really cool design, in my opinion, for a very novice person. 
And uh, so that's been her following. So we'll see if it actually looks the way that she has it ultimately drawn up. But uh, time to start. I gotta clear the space now and get this area ready to start actually assembling it over here. Oh man, I finally got that part done. That took way longer than probably should have, but you know, I'm new at this. Now we gotta build the little carts that go in there that can pull out and act as shelves and that sort of thing. Let's see what the other kids are doing. What are you guys up to? Nothing, we're just really just talking. <laughs> just hanging out and talking? Yes. On the van seats in the driveway? Well, where else are we supposed to sit? <laughs> Not like we have seats out here right here. Maybe we need to get some seats out here. What are you guys talking about? Anything? I don't know. You don't know? <laughs> Nothing really specific. Did you say Okay. I won't. I don't use a list so. Okay. I won't put you on the spot. Okay. Be careful. That I don't want to. I was telling her stories and she was laughing. Oh, perfect. Megan is killing these nightstands while she's talking on the phone with a friend. Mm-hmm. One thing that's a bummer is that this saw that I got, which I'm kind of a little regretful of, has a huge footprint front to back. So, you know, to cut something along here, I have to have this whole surface, mostly just for the, the saw. Um, I'm planning on putting a fence up here that, this, as, that things can go along and it makes it easier to um, measure with. The problem is, is it's going to take up such a big part of the uh, the work space there that it's kind of a bummer. So I don't know. We'll see. Okay, we're still working out there, but Daniel's in here making dinner for us. So Daniel, what's uh, what's on the menu? Well, today today's special. We have <laughs> leftover rice from last night, and then uh -huh. I'm thinking about we have leftover can from last night also. Mm -hmm. So you just kind of left overnight, so you know, like stir fry. Uh, fried rice with ham and egg, and then, you know, throw it together. Sweet. Yeah, and the worst thing, we can make a Caesar salad from Costco. Okay. Easy. So, yeah. All right. Yeah. Not too complicated? Nothing too complicated. Okay. Yeah. Sounds yeah. good. Thanks for making dinner. Yeah, this is this is what you get for making a lemon people's dinner. <laughs> a lot of eggs. Fifteen yeah. eggs. Fifteen eggs total. Fifteen eggs? Does that uh, seem like too many to you, Jude? No. I was no. originally only thinking about throwing 20, so, I mean... Two egg per person, right? That's you could do lot. 20. Maybe so do 20. Yeah, that's not a lot. <laughs> yeah, that's actually not too many. Yeah. Let's crack five more. Yeah. We got, we got eggs. We're good. Yeah, we got like a Costco 24 count. Yeah, we got it from Costco. Oh, we cracked all those eggs. Ah. There you go. Uh-huh. Dinner is ready. Uh, Dinner is ready. Yeah, sure. You made a candle? Uh-huh. With... Wax from our cheese, this thing. those round cheese things. You can take the wax from it and I put paper towel in the middle. Make stuff. Pretty darn good. And Peter is working. What are you working on, Pete? What is this? Uh, this is a, a dungeon thing. thing that we got for D and D, but I'm just trying to put it all together. Uh, I never knew how to put it all together. Okay. okay. So we need forty-five. Daniel says 45. the dinner is ready. This is dinner. Three. He says it doesn't look like much, but it tastes really good. It's actually more, so the rice is more sticky, that's what it'll probably look like fried rice. But. Oh right, because it was not, it was like, it was a, like a, it was like a rice pilaf that was yeah. made into, um... More rice pilaf. Right. Yeah, but we only 
Yeah. Are you ready to eat, Eve? Yeah. Okay. So how does it taste? Yummy. It's good? Jude's always giving thumbs up. All right. Hey, Eve. The kids are now playing... Uh, you're playing bear? Yeah! <laughs> or is that extra tag Eve? So bear is a game where there's one bear, is that right? No, no, wait, so there's one bear, he goes hide, and they have to find him. But as soon as they find him, they yell bear, and then they have to run back to the main spot, and if they're tagged, they become a new bear. Oh, like so... Well, uh, we're bear. You get a lot of bears by yes. the end? It's pretty fun. Nice, nice evening to be playing a game outside. I've got the two cart frames kind of put together, at least the beginnings of them. So this is, I think, going to be the front of the cart. It's kind of covered and just fits right in there. Getting closer. Another D&D game going on with everybody. They all get quiet as soon as I come around the corner. Peter, what yeah, do you so do? what do you do? Uh, I want to kill it. Wait, no! <laughs> what do I have to do? No, bitch, what do you Can I, uh, um, if, okay, if it? All right, um, we haven't done any recording today. I just, it was kind of a non-recording day, but I want to turn the camera on because I finished this workbench completely. Let me show you how this works. It's pretty cool. So um, what I did is obviously I had the frame and then I made these carts that have shelving on each side and then what they do is they fit just perfectly in this spot right here. Except, oh, it's hitting the back. Well, this side fits perfectly. Look at that, even better. I think there's there must be something back there getting in the way. I don't know what, but it's pretty awesome. It's kind of hard to do with one hand, but, oh, these are locked. Anyways, they lock, they go underneath, and the whole thing is finally put together. Yeah, it took me about three days. Like I said before, that's an Anna White um, plan, so if you have any interest in making something like that, she has like tons of stuff. People recommended her before, but it's, um, if you just search Anna White with one N on YouTube, She's on YouTube and she has a website. She has tons of plans for stuff like work related and also like actual furniture. So I might be making a bed of hers for us um, a little bit later. All right, it's another day um, of just stuff here at the North household. Megan and I continue to do projects. Um, some of these projects have taken a while or are sort of ongoing but we're actually making some real progress. So this, uh, this is a multi-day vlog. I don't even know how many days are gonna be on this because it's just been a little bit every day. But I will give you an update on this little project that you probably saw, seen us sort of evolve on. We think we finally have a, a way to get these doors to work and to get this stuff into place and make it stay. We went through, this is our third oh, dude. option. Third okay. way of doing it. One, two, three, this is our fourth. Fourth iteration. It's very difficult, turns out, to get this sort of caning, this like metal, what do you call it? Um, Lin cane. Lin like cane. aluminum sheeting. Yeah, to get it to go in and stay, because we, we had to make a this metal frame. We tried making a wood frame. We tried putting it in without a frame. And I then- tried, um, I tried two <laughs> different types of wood frames. And then we tried to make a metal frame with like soldering. Like, right, we tried soldering it, but we ended up doing more like super glue or epoxy. Yeah. Um, which actually, 
just need to pop this out and it has to go up a little bit more. Anyway, so we finally came up with kind of a combination of a metal frame and then we cut these. This was really the best idea anyways to make this part of the door structure. It looks right now yeah. instead of it having it be behind. So we cut these, we routed them on the end so that they, they fit the curvature of the of the door and we can, they can just be glued into place. Yeah, yeah. And then we can attach everything else from the back. And then we'll put them on this piece, which we've made the, the legs yeah. for. And yeah, oh, Tweedledee and Tweedledum are here. Daddy. You guys got a matching outfits. Yeah. Look at you, twins. Yes, Jude. Um, you know where I have those little glue sticks all? Little glue sticks? Yeah, I don't know. Like I haven't... you can look and you can look. Yeah, I know what they are. I haven't seen you for a little while. So you just have to look in the junk drawer. These kids go through a lot of glue and a lot of tape because they're always making something. So, and a lot of cardboard actually, right? Yeah, yeah. we use a lot of tape. You use a lot of tape. And cardboard mostly. Yeah, but we try to, it's, you know, part of the process of learning, so it's okay. Now, Megan is on a special project for the kids. What is this, Meg? Well, I got this table for $10 and I did not get it for the table. But Mike and I are gonna be making our own bed and I want a cool leg because then I didn't want to spend a lot for them. Mm -hmm. and these were just the thing. I think they're really cool. Those are cool legs. And um, so I took the legs off and then I thought, you know, I've been thinking about doing one of these. I thought the kids would appreciate a chess table, game table. They like playing chess, so hmm. I'm just doing So thing. right now you're tracing out the actual board? I'm making board. the board with tape, and then I'm pulling, you know, then I'll, then I'll cut out the tape that's not necessary. I'm actually going to leave the lighter squares wood, and the darker squares will be black. And then oh. this will be green, and I'll be attaching new legs. Which is kind of ironic that I got legs from Lowe's for a table that I bought for legs. <laughs> but the Lowe's To legs avoid buying Lowe's legs. tables. I know. Well, or the Lowe's, Lowe's legs, legs. They aren't as pretty as those. Or and also, like. we realize it's way more expensive to buy legs on their own. Um, you can oftentimes find a cheaper piece of furniture that has the legs you want. I know, but, which is ironic because I bought it for the I legs, know. took them off, and then I just mm -hmm. went and bought legs on their own. But yeah, but... Those legs weren't tall enough for what you'd want. And the the ones that they had that weren't as interesting. Yeah. I just really liked. I thought those were really interesting legs. But anyway, that's a little pro tip that Megan's realized. If you're looking to put legs on something, instead of spending like, what do legs typically cost if you buy them on Amazon um, or at Lowe's? Like, I mean, they they vary, but they can be a ton a piece. Like, I have really seen legs that are a hundred dollars a piece or more. But uh, wood legs are probably usually ten to twenty dollars a piece. However, yeah. you could buy this little table for ten dollars, and you've got four legs out of four it. You solid just solid wood legs. Yeah. yeah. So look at so when you're at the thrift store and stuff, look at um, furniture differently. Like, in fact, there's some really cool poles sometimes on a cabinet or a dresser that's not worth it much, yeah. and so they've marked it to twenty five bucks. But hardware is expensive, right? And so totally. you buy it just for the hardware. You can do the parts and pieces. Yeah. Anyways, this is gonna be cool. Okay, 
all of our work continues in here. Elijah's building something for his room. Something, I don't know what. You don't have enough closet space? Well, they're in like a bonus room, which means there's actually no closet whatsoever. There's a little closet that they all share. So Elijah's making something he can hang his clothes on. It hangs from the ceiling. And it's a rod. Hmm. The chessboard is done, and I've taped it up because I'll be painting the tabletop and the legs and everything green. But And we have the legs right here, but we want to build a little box. Right. We don't have to, I guess, because t together with this, it's 29 inches, so it's probably fine. What do oh. you think? If we're well, not going to uh, put a drawer in, then there's no reason to put a box in. Yeah, let's just attach the legs and call it good. Jude helped us put the legs, legs on. Now, should we see if, they, if it works? Okay. Here we go. This floor is not flat, by the way, in here. All right, now it's raining a little bit. Even Jude are undeterred. Back. Whoa! Daddy! Now they can't. In fact, Daddy. they weren't playing until it started raining. What? Daddy. It's raining, but you're still playing. <laughs> Lies and Daniel think that they are complete on this thing. Well, maybe. That we can get it running now. Yahoo! So they want to take it for the maiden voyage. <laughs> We've got a, a crowd. It's not actually that loud. Yeah. But. All right. Well, let's see. Uh, we'll look professional. Elijah, kind of. <laughs> How fast is it? It doesn't go that fast, does it? 40 miles? No, it doesn't. Yeah. I thought it was like All right. 40 to 50. I gotta actually turn it on. Let's see if it'll start. Okay, put on your seatbelt. <laughs> kind of tight. Smoke coming out of here. I don't oh, I know. Think it's steam. That's like think it's steam. Yeah. That's our clutch. Oh, sorry, dude. Watch out, Jeters. That doesn't look good. It might be. I think it's. Steam. Or is it just steaming? Did it smell? Well, like so. Smoke? What does um, it smell like, Asher? Smell like smoke? A little. I haven't seen you guys in a while. Uh, it's kind of good for me. <laughs> Peter has, he set up a, I think he's using FaceTime, but they're doing a remote Dungeons and Dragons game with his friends, so 
And he's got four friends on that call and they're gonna play D&D together over the phone. So should be fun. Uh, and then Elijah and Daniel are trying to figure out what's wrong with their go-kart, why it won't go. They think it's because they made, the tires are bigger than when they originally bought it because they put new ones on there and they think the gear ratios are off for the size tire that they have or size tires. So they've got to get a new, they got to somehow redo that. And I don't know, you have, I have no idea how that's going to go. So I think that's it. I think we're actually done for the day. And I think we actually have enough footage to post, edit and post a video. So that's what we're going to do. Um, so thanks for coming along. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Check out northernsouth.com. So we'll see you tomorrow or the next day. Bye.